I was born like on the border of Rwanda and Congo. It's a place called Bufumbira. It's kind of like in Uganda, not in Uganda. It's just like on the border, but uh, they call us Rwandans. They call us Congolese, but uh, originally it's Rwanda. Uh, the war took a long time, like many years, that uh, we in the forest going up and down, up and down, but uh, there was somebody who took care of me and we ended up in Uganda like refugees. I have lived in a refugee camp, let me say that for the rest of my life, uh, we have been called the refugees, migrants in Uganda. Sometimes we get denied services because we ain't Ugandans, we are not Ugandans. And yeah, I have lived there for about 16, 17 years. It's really a big, big problem because it's hard to get in medication, school, or even what to eat because what we rely on is UNHCR, like United Nations. It's a committee for refugees, so it's an organization which brings food for refugees who left their home country to come like to the other our country. So most of the time, like when we find the life hard, we start cultivating, like making our own food. But it's a little hard in the camp because even getting school fees, it's a hard it's a hard task. Many people are there suffering, many of them are dying of hunger. Uh, many of them drop out of school, they get married, not because of their choice, but because of what life makes them to do. Like, they have no choice. It's their place. They grow up, they, they understand and accept it, so they have nothing to do about it. Uh, I, have, I had this person, I used to call her my mom, and she passed away last October 2016. But she took care of me, like sent me to school, motivated me, gave me some of the key words, like telling me not to ever accept the people, tell me that I can't do what I can do. I was good in school only because she motivated me, told me that you go on tasks, accept the challenges. If you fear to be a failure, then you ain't a man. So I grew up with such kinds of words. And even when I didn't have school fees, but it, she motivated me, pushed me to continue till now that I'm in school. Uh, there is other kids that I sponsor or I support either pay half of their fees. Even when I'm in the zoo, uh, I get some money maybe to send back home, help them go to school because I know the life that I grew up in. So I try to make them at least go to school. Even when they, like, they can't finish school, at least they go there, they get some knowledge. Yeah. yeah I left uh, when I was about to be 17. About to be 17, yeah. Uh, there is a lot to think of. As, like, there is a lot like I can think of doing, but because I don't have resources or helping networks to support my ideas, it's, it kind of seems to be impossible. But my belief and the way I got raised up is what you focus on improves only, it's just a matter of time. It takes time to improve what you want to do. There is many people who want to go to school, homeless, kids on the street, suffering, or even most of them dying of hunger only because they can't afford what to eat. They can't afford the medication. It's not because they want to, it's only because the life standard and that thing of getting called refugees puts them in that issue. It's not their country, that's why they're on that standards. It's a lot, uh, I don't know how I can explain it, but it, due to my life standards, my past life history, the way I grew up, situations that it, I grew up in the community and society, seeing with my, life, my eyes, like the life I ex experienced, it pushed me to do this program, a social service program. But later on, I'm interested in immigration and settlement, the way to find the people to move in countries, either to find extra support or extra helping networks whereby they can get the best things that they want, like shelter, education, and the healthy. Not like the way I grew up, because uh, I don't know how I can explain it, but most of the times when I was back home, it was hard to get where to sleep, but uh, the mom I had, she made sure even in the family I was in, she made sure to give me what to eat because in the family that I grew up in, 
I'm the only person who went to school. I feel respected. She departed before I appreciated it for what she did. She respected me too much, motivated me up to the time right now I'm in the college. It's a great pleasure, but she departed before I appreciate it. So all of those supportive words, motivating words that she gave me, they are now the bridge and the like the push that I have which keeps me in school, expecting tomorrow to be a new day, tomorrow to be a change of my life tomorrow to be another great world that I will live in.